if you want to play old versions of Minecraft properly, watch this video. But just before it starts, smash the like button, comment, subscribe, and good night, bell. And okay, let's start. Okay, you can play like old versions of Minecraft in the Minecraft launcher, but it's pretty buggy and it's not really that good. And it messes with like things and like no versions, like auto jump. So, I'm show you how to play old versions nice and properly so it don't really interfere with your modern worlds. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is before you start with like multi MC and that. Beta craft. How you join beta craft with click on rest of step and sign up for account. It says like if you want to use your Minecraft username, you go like verify on a server, so just copy the server. Control C. Open up Minecraft. Okay, you gotta set your version between beta 1.8 and Minecraft release 1.2. And if you want, you can just select the different games that let me put this like temporary file on the Minecraft launcher. Apply. Quick play. Click on multiplayer. Select connect. Control V. Point and just copy that. You have five minutes to sign up, so try to sign up fast. Okay, after you sign up onto Facebook, you can just simply go to profile and right over there you can like upload your skin, change the key, and from doing that, when you type in the proxy data into the multi MC file, it should work now if it doesn't so. I got the help and now this point of the video is using the beta craft launcher and beta craft is quite more simple and multi MC like all the way you know, like already in the launcher and you don't really need to download on external websites really so let's just download go to download click download latest windows version Good. I clicked. I clicked on like cancel download because I already have the app downloaded already. And with BetaCraft, you can edit instance and like Netflix already done. You don't really need to put the proxy in, and you have to select what like kind of like mod you want, like old alpha mods and. You can select add on so you can play on creative mode on versions that doesn't really have a creative mode on. So that's a very nice feature. And wait to change version, select version. Okay, let's pick Infidev 2010 0330. And press play. Minecraft is quite the easy one to use because you just download it and just like sign in within the white right Minecraft launcher and it just works. Like the sound just works and just works with a 3 foot 1 kind of con of it is like if you've got Windows scaling on it doesn't really scale properly so make sure you mess with your scaling settings if you want to use Minecraft. Yeah, I bet you remember that world. It was from that cheating video where it showed gears in the game as hidden. If you want to know how to get gears, watch this video. I do a series called Minecraft 10 works for old versions of Minecraft like this. So, if you want more information about old things in Minecraft, like sometimes it's just mess with the underside of the game, sometimes it explore, like quite a quite good series to watch. Okay, like, it's so good because it just works, and if you want to switch modes, quit, select add-on, click on game mode switch, click on OK, and play again. I will go in, I'm in creative mode now, like, 
You can't really select like from a creative menu, but I can't really take damage really. And you can't really fly you're in creative mode. Like you can remove blocks instantly. Like gold. And it's pretty good, he doesn't wanna see. You can't die in creative what? That's crazy that dying in creative mode. Are you kidding me? I can't see any hearts here. Yeah, that was kind of funny, but... Like, you can select between the two modes, and... Creative modes is kind of pointless, because... You only get one brick, and once you place it, it's gone. But you don't even have if there are those items, so... You can switch your game mode, but... Creative is pretty pointless in this version. It's in the game files, but it's pretty pointless mode. Because we got the beta craft set, we can now finally attempt to use multi MC. If you wonder what that's up there, that was supposed to be a mod for for Minecraft Dev because there's nothing in the game yet. Okay, just have to link in the description for all the websites like multi MC. And let's click on download. I don't need to download it because I already got multi MC. Let's say you want to log on to multi MC when like you've got multi MC, now you download it and you want to log on into it. Okay, click on Add Microsoft. Copy that link. We'll just click on it. Copy the code. And just paste the code you got into this site. Okay, I signed in and it's all done. I can use multi MC Faithy now. Take it if you want to use the account and bam, all nice and good. And now it's time to show you how to create an instance. Add instance. Let's say you want to make a world in Minecraft. 1.1, yeah, that's a good version. I think I'm just gonna name it 1.1 MC Help. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna call the instance. And it should just sell like the type you type in to show on the bar. And in version white 1.1. The sound works, but the problem is, what you signed in, no skin, and you're just playing as like Steve, and also like this is just like normal Minecraft, like this is an Optifine that makes your game perform a bit better. So, I'm going to show you right now how to get your skin back and how to use Optifine find an old razor of Minecraft like this one and hopefully I can show you how to put text pack on to make Minecraft look a lot better in my opinion. Okay. Thanks for accomplished ad 7314 for this. Gave me a link to Optifine history so if you want to download the old version of Optifine wait for Minecraft 1.1 just click over here and it should give you the download for it. And good. After you download up the file, it also request you to. Okay, just copy the link I have in the description of this video and you get this texture pack from Minecraft Bay 1.8 to Minecraft Reach 1.2 called Faithful 64 that will make Minecraft look a lot better and it's just download it normally, like the tech book that we had so edited, so the tech book's normal. And good. We have the texture pack, we have Optifine, and I'm going to show you the proxy right now. So, we're all ready for a good Minecraft 1.1 experience. 
rate 1.1 MCL for Con. At the instance, they beat that because Bearcraft isn't like it's dot uk now dot dot pm doesn't mind that. But you'll say something else if you're not editing it. I just copied and pasted this jar arm and put my crop and reach one paint all on way back. And with memory, just to increase that because half a gigabyte of RAM dedicated to the game gonna slow down with that. So, you change that to this. Yeah. Uh, this. Yeah, that's a whole lot better. If you only have something like 8 gigs of RAM, you should turn this to a 4 and turn this to a 10. Yeah. Okay, we got the proxy sorted. Now it's time to get. Okay, if you want to add Optifine to multi MC, click on, add to Minecraft Jar, just go where you have the file downloaded. It should be Optifine 1.1.6 and press open. Good. Okay, we sorted out the jar for arguments and we sorted out Optifine. Now, text pack. Click on add. Add the text pack while I tell you the download and it should be on. And now, because we have everything set up, we should be able to watch. Now, we should have the extra options of Optifine. We should have the new Faithful 64 text pack that works between Beta 1.8.12 Beta 1 to Minecraft version 1.25. Okay, we're going back into our world to see if the skin works, and yeah, I got my skin. This boy for me is awful, so I'm just gonna hire it. Yeah, I got my skin. And now you know how to play old versions like this properly now. If you want to play versions like, you know, like Minecraft Beta 1.6, in the description, there should be also Optifine working for that as well, and also have another texture pack for that version as well. So, like, if you want to play more versions, I got one. But, what if you want to play versions that aren't in multi MC? Yeah. I'm gonna show you that. You remember you press control you can see it. Not the fan. There are two places you can download Minecraft versions. The Minecraft Wiki and on the archive. On the archive has like Minecraft versions like free classic, like old beta versions, they have pretty much every version. That way we isn't in the world today. So just click on download point and click on save file. Okay, we're gonna switch this to Minecraft Alpha 1.1 now. So we're gonna go to edit instance again. Just get rid of the Optifine mod and change version to version that's close to it. So like. Minecraft Alpha 1.1.0, yeah, that's close. And, and add to my like the added file to Minecraft.jar. Good. And remember, for like old, old versions, you need a different Java argument for versions before 1.0, so that's the one. And let's launch. And what's good about multi MC is you can actually full scheme with scheme and gone. And you can tell this is Minecraft 1.1.1 because it has a music slider, it has a sound slider, and Minecraft 1.1 pixel didn't any. Okay, but we selected the right one, we should have the right sound for the alpha version and just have your skin. This is before a cave, so I don't really have a cave. 
Your help will all pick more big one. And now you have the knowledge to play whatever version you want in multi MC. I'm so glad you went now. How to play in the beta path launcher, how to play in multi MC, and how to wear these toughest shooting problems because if you have a problem with the skin, just try to sign the beta path and I had this problem before in the skin square. Now I do sign the beta path. And all good. And now I'm gonna show you what happens if you use multi MC the play. In productions, it, it sure will be a disaster. Okay, we're just gonna add Epidev 2010 or 330 to it. Quick launch. See, because the version's too far apart, it doesn't really work. So you gotta make the version a bit closer. Now, if you want. It should work now. Like the versions, like the custom versions you put in that where it's in the launcher, you gotta make sure the main version is very close enough. It can't really be too far. Uh, let's just go into With very old versions, it does praise off the main dot tank pack. Old fab. It does praise all weird. Like I'm at the far one right now. I'm packing it instead. The far one didn't actually lag. It was only with alpha that were added wagging. That's the one fine instead. But the problem is that the vehicle keeps flickering and that doesn't happen with beta path down. When I did the Minecraft in depth series I did that on beta path because this is just too problematic, too unplayable. Like if you just have like your like in the tutorial. You can just move around and don't really see but as soon as the like you get out, oh no, it just keeps moving. And I showed this Pokemon for a long time and it's still not fixed. How annoying. And that's why you play very old versions of beta craft. Like different tools for a different job. So multi MC is good at some things, but beta craft is good at other things, so that's why I use both. They're both good programs to play old Minecraft versions. Definitely a lot better than using the official Minecraft World Check. Okay, I hope with this video I teach you everything you need to know. And I just want to say, new version of my <laughs> new episode of Minecraft 10 it are usually on 10 p.m. UK time, Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific time, 6 p.m. Atlantic time, Friday, and 7 a.m. Australia time, Saturday. And I hope you watch the Me Minecraft 10 series because I think it's a really big series. And hopefully you play old Minecraft like I do. I hope this tutorial really worked you well. And I just want to say bye. Outro.